Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Awa Mikanet and if this is your first time here, welcome. And this is my YouTube channel where I get to create a lot of fun stuff for you. Before we go any further, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the content so that YouTube gets to recommend more of the videos I make here for your pleasure, right? Let's get into it. Today's video is all about investing in Nigeria. Nigeria is my beautiful country and I am hopefully a beautiful citizen of this country. And I just want to talk about investing in Nigeria. And before I go any further, I would just love to say that I am not financially responsible for any advice you hear here. And before I go any further, I'd just like to say that please do not take this advice as financial advice. This is just content and you should please talk to financial advisor or anyone that is capable of holding that position. Thank you. So first and first, um, as you all know, there's a saying whereby the beginning determines the end and we are in January 2020, right? So how do you envision December 2020 to be like? We just left December 2019 and we're screaming that to December, like, a lot of people had fun times, a lot of people traveled to new places, a lot of people did new things, right? How do you want your December 2020 to go down? Or your December 2050? Or your December 2000? What are your plans? Are you planning for yourself alone? Are you thinking about like your future generations? We've heard about generational wealth and a lot of people do not talk about that here in Africa or Nigeria or in the place I reside. People just think about the now, which is also good, but it's also good to think about like generational wealth because that helps your future generation and you just don't leave them stagnant in a way. With that said, it also comes with a lot of baggage like what if my future generation decides to like splurge on my money? Well, it's their life at the end of the day and what they do with it is what they do with it but they do have an option, right? It's not like they have one way or one way to follow. They now have an option and that's the way I see it. Investing in Nigeria on the other hand could look like a conundrum like it's confusing it's not easy you don't hear a lot of people talking about money in this country because for some reason money is a taboo and asking like your fellow colleague how much the end in salary is also difficult that money conversation here is quite difficult to have and that is why investing here is quite difficult like if you ask any investor like how come my life is this good they'll be like we thank god it's all true god which is good yes praise god but also give detailed information on how you are thinking something so that with more information shared it will help the community and it builds a stronger community in my own point of view also you don't get fantastic annual rates in terms of like profits in anywhere else for example in london their rates on loans or rates on investment could be like four three two um in some other countries western countries you have we're hearing of minus you get well here in nigeria you have your treasury bills then a while back it was almost 24 18 now it's it's down, but a little bit, a little bit told me that it will soon be coming up, and I'm just hoping for that. Now, apart from treasury bills, you have things like bonds that are still doing good. We have um the agri tech, so a lot of agri tech platforms are out there right now. But be careful on which one you go with, and you see fantastic rates like 16% in four months, um 30% in nine months, 35, 40, 20. It's our first like to start with the normal and truest one, which and um, it's also safer is treasury bills when i first started i would normally just go to the bank to buy treasury bills directly but with what just happened recently with the treasury bills rates so you normally would get like 10 11 12 um, percent annually on your um on your principal capital when you go to the bank to buy a treasury bill but all of a sudden it came down to five six seven um percent annually and that was because cvn signed a policy that i do not know clearly what that policy is all about but they signed a policy and it affected it but now yeah it's changed looming because the nigerian government has to also fund their budget this year so they need money to do that and i'm thinking they're going to also borrow money from the public hence the rates will also go up um and people will start buying into that asset once more again but that really opened my eye to mutual funds i've had accounts and mutual funds platform but i've never really like gone into it i understand the core but i'm always quite skeptical um in terms 
terms of like the safety of my principal capital and just hoping that that money doesn't just vanishes into thin air and that had like restricted me in putting more money into those platforms but with much much researching and going to offices and checking which organization was backed up by sec so sec is the security exchange commission um here in nigeria and the back of the financial houses so that your money just don't disappear overnight and with that it has given me full confidence and i've also realized that buying treasury bills through mutual fund platforms are much more effective in terms of like the rate you get because those guys are there to serve you and your money rather than the bank who is just there to sell whatever products they have and make profit on don't get me wrong the, um, the mutual funds accounts or companies or platforms also want to make profit too but because of they need your money to make profit right it's much more effective for you in terms of like having um an account with them that's what i have noticed so far it might be wrong but this is just something i have seen that works well so in terms of like investing in nigeria the basics are treasury bills um bonds and mutual funds account so treasury bills is basically just giving your money back to the nigerian government to sponsor your budgets, sponsor infrastructure projects and whatever they have in their purview and they give you a profit on the amounts you've given them over time. Same thing also applies to bonds but bonds is much more longer. So your treasury bills have three tenors. We have three months, six months and a year if I'm right. Then bonds you have one year, two years, 25 years, 100 years depending on that bond itself. Then mutual funds account is basically Basically, um, a pool of money from different people used to invest in certain money or asset classes and by the end of the day the money is being splitted. So one platform I use is Investment One, have an Abacus program whereby it's basically money markets in terms of like treasury bills, commission papers and um, things that are of low risk and they pay you dividend quarterly so every three months you get dividends and why I like that is due to the fact that the money compounds in a way so you get dividend paid back into the account every three months and you decide to reinvest it so you're increasing your capital and hence your profits should increase in at the end of the day in total compounding interest is something you should read about i will also love to do a video on that later explaining what compounding interest is because a lot of people don't know about compounding interest and it's basically just the first wonder of this world because if you have a good grasp on it you wouldn't really miss out you would really understand you'd be like wow i have been in the dark for so long and this is actually good let's move to something more high risk we have in nigeria stock exchange um where we have companies like dangote cement listed we have dan sugar we have the banks the gt zenit uba first bank and all that we have the other companies that i can mention here in this video with that said the whole capitalization or my capitalization yeah the whole capital of the Nigerian Stock Exchange is just under $70 billion, while that of New York or America, the Nasdaq, or and while that of America, Nasdaq, or um, the New York Stock Exchange capitalization is way, way over $2 trillion, right? Basically, we both could buy our stock exchange and still have profit on it like change extra change to buy somewhere else so that should just give you an idea on the nigerian stock exchange market telling you that there's still room for growth right but right now it's still volatile that if you want something really medium in terms of like five ten years that wouldn't look so good to like hedge your entire assets or capital against the nigerian stock exchange so hence you have to diversify but i also have to put this out there to do a lot of research will really help you ask a lot of questions even if they seem obvious just ask to confirm um, your assumptions don't always assume and one thing again is understanding your risk and your ability to just jump at it and one more thing i have to like stress in this video is that investment or investment opportunities are good but we also have to remember that if you don't increase your stream of income right making this investment is not going to turn you into dangote overnight right so you also have to like know how to increase your um streams of income because it's the excess profits you get from the streams that you push into other investments so if you don't have streams of income even coming in there's no way that seven ten thousand naira every month would 
makes you a billionaire within two years, right? So it's just something to put in the back of your mind. And also remember that confidence is key in terms of like trusting your inner your inner heart, your inner mind, just like, okay, let me take this risk. And if you're taking risk, know that you're doing that with the money that you could afford to lose. Like if that money goes now, like you wouldn't want to do anything to yourself. Let me put it that way. Um, so it's money that you really, 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 really don't know what to do with or you wouldn't mind if it gets stolen or lost or anything that you should invest or play around with. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video and you liked it and wishing you a very blissful 2020. See you in my next one. Bye guys.